What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Ryan Garcia, Javante Tank Davis. Get this Ryan Garcia confronts Javante Tank Davis in a club, and this is what Ryan has to say. He says, What's funny, guys, I actually did see Tank in the club. He's a tough guy, he's very low key in his hoodie. I went up to his table with me and this guy and we said, yo, are we going to make this fight happen? I guess he got offended by that and got all worked up. I was like, yo, what are you on about, man? Ain't no respect here? He responded with, nah, there's no respect here. I said, oh, it's like that? <clears throat> then he grabbed my chain but I wasn't worried about it. There are so many security guards there. He wasn't going to take my chain or do anything. He just wanted to seem tough. So I said, wow, it's like that, huh? All Access Elite Boxing, 24-7 Boxing News, the source. Let me counterpunch. Um, this is really no different than what we see on social media anyway. The only difference was there was an encounter between the two. Um, you know, if Javante felt offended or whatever, he could have responded. But I don't see why he felt he was disrespected. If somebody's calling you out for a fight, maybe Javante probably thought it meant take it to the streets. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not since, you know, he approached him. But then it's not really how you meant it. It's how the other guy took it. So if Javante Tank, Tank, Tank Davis took it like that, <clears throat> you know, because uh, he said, um, I went up to his table with me and this guy, and we said, yo, are we going to make that fight happen? So it wasn't just Ryan Garcia going up there by his lonesome. He wasn't just like, hey, 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 go, hey, you know, hey, Tank, what's up, man? We going to fight or what? No, it was him and someone else. So probably Javante looked at two of these guys coming to like they were going to confront him, you know, and whoever he was with, because, you know, he wouldn't by himself, you know, and he grabbed his chain or whatever. So I'm, I'm assuming if he grabbed his chain, his head and neck went with him, <laughs> you know, especially if he snatched him, if he was sitting down. Right. You know, and <clears throat> and he was at his table, so he, he probably snatched him unless the table had no chairs nonetheless he pulled him so if he pulled him you know that had to be some type of altercation because i couldn't imagine anybody pulling my chain with me wearing that chain and me not doing anything so if anybody punked too i would say javante punked him by snatching the shit down or to him or whatever you know what i mean but then it's like why would you snatch his chain and do nothing else so a lot of that is kind of incomplete you know i bet a camera the eye in the sky would show everything or show a lot more than what I read about uh, Ryan Garcia wanting, you know, or walking up to Javante Tank Davis like that. But nonetheless, as long as their politics, as long as their Mayweather's out there that runs Javante Tank Davis, he will be 30 years old before you see any fight like that. That man is probably 28. As a matter of fact, um, Tank Davis is... Um, He's 27. So next month, he will be 28. You know, so this man, he, it'll be another two years before, maybe, maybe even not that. But nonetheless, Mayweather is promoting him or whatever. Him and Ellerby are promoting him the way they want to. And I don't think it concerns or involves Ryan Garcia. <clears throat> so, you know, it's just nothing really but hype. You know, I don't think nothing really of it. I don't think anything of it, honestly, you know, but that's my counterpunch of what I, little I think of it. You guys tell me what you think of it. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.